from your local weather on Action News Now. We go now to Brian Ramsey in the Storm Tracker Center with your Thursday forecast. Yeah, good morning, everybody. You're starting your morning off a little warmer right now compared to yesterday morning because we have clouds and, of course, because it's a little windy outside for some of you. Current temperatures right now in the mountains sitting in the 20s and 30s, but in the valley, look at it, 45 degrees right now in Redding, but even warmer in Butte County, 48 in Chico, 49 degrees in Orville. That's one degree away from 50 degrees right now. Usually we're seeing 30s at this time. So why are we seeing that warmer weather? Well, boom, here it is. Current wind speeds right now, 21 miles per hour in Chico, 15 in Orville. So we are seeing some breezy conditions right now in Butte County, allowing those temperatures to be a little bit warmer since wind, when there's no sun, actually warms the temperatures rather than cools them. And one of the reasons we're seeing some breezy conditions for some of our locations is because that low pressure system just to our east is causing some breezy conditions uh, in our region. Those That windy weather will not last long though. That low will eventually move to the east and you're going to see the winds completely dissipate. As for today's high temperatures, we're going to be seeing temperatures getting into the mid 60s, maybe some low 60s out there. And it's on a cooler way, at least on a cooler trend compared to yesterday. And we're going to continue that cooling trend into the weekend as a cold front approaches our way on Friday. Friday and on Saturday, bringing some showers Friday night into Saturday. But how much rain will we see with this system? Well, let's go ahead and time it out first. When exactly will it get here? So this is Thursday. We're going to go through the down Thursday. Not too much for today. Once we go to tomorrow, that's when the showers will begin to make landfall on the coast. Uh, really in the morning. Once we get into the early afternoon, though, that's when it slowly begins to move inland and it will move through the valley and then into parts of the Sierra in the overnight hours early into the morning on Saturday. Snow levels probably sitting a little higher, probably about 4,000 feet at the end of the event, but the beginning it will be about 5,000 feet. As for the rain with this system, I'm expecting anywhere from a quarter of an inch to half an inch of rain in the valley. Some of you could see an extreme of an inch. Uh, as for mountain regions, you'll mostly be seeing snow. As for the amount of snow, it's not going to be a lot. We're talking just a couple of inches of snow outside with this event. As for today's forecast, it's National Snack Day. I put a whole bunch of healthy snacks on here because I'm trying to, to encourage you to eat healthy, but for me, you know, maybe I'll just have a brownie. I don't know. As for lunch, sitting at about 58 degrees for today, that high temperature at about 66 degrees. As for your seven day forecast in Chico, high of 66 degrees for today, we stay pretty much the same for tomorrow, except rain moves in late at night and into the morning on Saturday. Saturday afternoon, though, if you have any plans, keep the plans. You're going to be good to go. Saturday afternoon, the rain's only in the morning on Saturday. Once you go to Sunday, Sunday also looking great until you get late in the night when the rain moves in, and we're going to see widespread showers Monday through Tuesday, some scattered showers on Wednesday with much cooler temperatures next week. As for Reading, a high of 61 degrees for today, 63 for Friday, and then we're back into the 50s on Saturday. Uh, almost guaranteed rain chance along that cold front Friday night and Saturday morning. And then it looks like next week will probably be a washout and it will be very cold as well. All right, thank you, Brian. Is giving people money a useful policy? A study in one city tells us what works.